Hi guys, my name is Pavel. I'm a solutions engineer with Couchbase. In this short video, I'd like to show how you can stress test your nickel workloads with Apache JMeter. Uh, JMeter is a pretty cool tool. It's a free Java-based application. And in a sense, you can consider it a Swiss army knife of performance testing. Uh, with JMeter, you can test databases, web applications, uh, REST endpoints, FTP servers, and a lot more. For my particular test, I have both uh, Couchbase server and JMeter installed locally on my laptop. And for the nickel queries, I'm going to use uh, this travel sample bucket, which contains about 31,000 JSON documents. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to bring up uh, JMeter's uh, graphical user interface. And uh, JMeter comes with this uh, nice GUI which uh, you can see it's coming up. And you basically use it for designing and running test plans. Uh, you can also run JMeter in a non-GUI mode by supplying test plan file uh, to the JMeter executable. I already have my test plan designed, so I'm going to open this um, REST API tests.gmx uh, file. And uh, as you can see, there are there are two workloads defined in my test plan. Uh, workload one is currently uh, grayed out or disabled, so I'm going to enable it by just uh, right-clicking on it and choosing, uh, choosing Enable option. In fact, uh, you can uh, easily enable or disable any part of your test plan. So now let me um, open up this tree structure uh, to see what's out here. So uh, the first workload will run on behalf of five uh, threads for the duration of 120 seconds. Each thread will be randomly picking up nickel queries uh, from the pool of 10 queries defined here. And as you can see, these are my nickel statements, which um, look pretty much like SQL selects. The main difference is that these statements will run against uh, JSON documents and I will submit uh, queries via this HTTP request uh, sampler. Now, in order, to, uh, in order for the workload to run, each thread should connect to Couchbase server and in HTTP authorization manager, uh, I define the base URL for the server, a username and a password. The CSV dataset config element is used for defining a file with parameters. Uh, this file, countries.dat, will contain parameters for one of my selects. Actually, it's going to be select, uh, select number three. And if you look at it, uh, I will be supplying uh, parameters uh, for the WHERE clause, including country and ID range. And this is the contents uh, of my parameters file. And you can see there are different, there are different countries and uh, ranges for ID. Now, the second workload uh, will run on behalf of one thread and it will do just 10 iterations. Within each iteration, um, I will insert a new document to the travel sample bucket. Then I will run a few selects, uh, select by ID, select by key, and a more complex select with join. Then I will update the document and I will delete it. So that's my test plan in a nutshell, uh, let's run it. So in order to run it, in order to run the test, uh, all you have to do is just press this uh, green start button and immediately in the top right corner, um, you can see that the number of active threads has jumped. So now there are six uh, concurrent threads running. Uh, to measure workload performance, I added uh, the following listeners to my test plan. Uh, for instance, view results in the table uh, allows you to see each individual statement, uh, its elapsed time, uh, status, byte sent, latency, and so on. Uh, summary report listener provides a short summary uh, for the whole workload. So you can see the total, uh, the total number uh, of, of samples ran for each statement. You can see the average minimum, maximum uh, elapsed time, standard deviation, error percentage, throughput and so on. Uh, looks like there are no errors at this uh, at this moment, which which is good. 
uh, view results tree listener um, provides a more detailed information uh, uh, about each sample. For instance, you can uh, you can check the status uh, of each request. Uh, you can see uh, which data was actually sent to the server and uh, you can see the response data. Uh, response time graph listener. Uh, you can basically use it to build a nice little chart of response times for each uh, for, for, for each request. Uh, I'm doing it for, for the second workload. And uh, as you can see, uh, select with join is the longest query within the second workload and it takes um, takes um, almost like four seconds to run under stress conditions. For the first workload, I added this uh, summary report listener so you can get an idea of what was the performance uh, of each uh, nickel, nickel query from, from the first workload. And you can see the response time is ranging from a few milliseconds to, to more than 12 seconds for select number five. So looks like the test is finishing right now. You could see the number of active threads is going down and the test is is about to be done so just let's let's wait a few seconds it should be done almost immediately okay it's done now let's refresh the response time graph for the second workload and you can see that the latency for the longest query um, select with join dropped down immediately after the first workload completed. So that was uh, JMeter with Couchbase in a nutshell. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, thanks for watching.